Happy birthday, everyone, and welcome to the Happy Birthday Podcast with your hosts, Jackie and Dan, the number one podcast on ApplePodcast.com, dedicated to the birthdays you know and love. So without further ado, take it away, Dan. Go shut it. Exes went Christian after we Because you up. have that gene, so it gets inside their bloodstream. That's true. When I yeah. come inside them, it just stays in there. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get for busting inside those men. I do want to ask <laughs> real quick, and this is a non-joke thing. I want to mention it before I forget. We, we have the, when we have the week of Thanksgiving coming up, should we re- just oh, yeah. record on Wednesday? Because I don't want to record on Thanksgiving. We're going to be recording on Thanksgiving Day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. We've scheduled Thursday. Thursday is the day. I was going to say, I like to call it Spanksgiving because I like to rub one out. Um, I'd like to call it the Thanksgiving weekend. Sure. <laughs> do they still do that at all? No, man. They haven't done that in 20 years. I think they might still be doing it, though. I don't South, think they South are. Park is still on. <laughs> if you can yeah, watch. I mean, Comedy Central does still exist. Three repeated viewings of the Hebrew Hammer. You can win a PlayStation 1. Jackie, did, oh, I thought you froze for a second. You're just not engaged no, with this bored. pointless conversation. <laughs> just bored. She didn't have d- Comedy Central. Oh, yeah, that's true. I did. I did. Well, then why don't you know about the Thanksgiving Away weekend? Because I don't remember things from 20 years ago that were on TV once a year. What do you remember? This feels like the, you know what? That feels like a personal attack <laughs> for both there? of us. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Fuck um, you. <laughs> yeah, you have just that you both have very special memories. That's all I'll say. Thank you, thank you for that, Jackie. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for bringing thanks for kind of Special setting the mood guys. for what we're doing here. Setting our metaphorical table, which table is a metaphor in that sentence, and the table is what, Jackie? What table are we sitting at? What are we eating? Oh, um, birthdays burgers. Yep, that's what I was gonna say. Couldn't have said it better myself. And that brings thank me you. to the first thing on the top of my head, which is hi. Uh, welcome to the Happy Birthday Podcast. Uh, I'm your co-host, Dan, November 10th. I'm Jackie, October 12th. Jackie. What? Do you mind adjusting your tone a little bit? You're coming off a little shrill. <laughs> what? How about that? Is that Thank you. What I want to tell you. Yes, yeah, sir. Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here to tell you that there's a celebrity birthday today. Can you tell me who it is without any sort of clue or a hint or any sort of me just telling you? Mariska Hargitay. Oh wow, Mariska Hargitay, who was on that one episode of Seinfeld maybe uh, thirty years ago, maybe two episodes. Doesn't matter. We know her from uh, crime shows such as Law and Order. Um, she Law and Order Love Investigation Guru. Unit, Love Guru as well. So happy birthday, Mariska <laughs> Hargitay, except, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Oh, shit. <clears throat> no, Jackie. Sorry. I don't know when her birthday is. I wish I knew because I wouldn't mind spending it with her the birthday day and the birthday night, if you know what I mean. Okay. But I think she's like 65 years old now. That is true. Women do usually put out on their birthdays. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Jackie, the birthday feller I'm thinking of is a feller. A a, a, okay. a an assigned male man or <laughs> okay, I understand. Yes, yes, and he, this 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 fellow is a is a actor, rapper, uh, podcaster. So we might know him, um, but I actually didn't know this guy. I didn't know who this was, and then oh. when 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 Paul reached out to me with some of the uh, jolly good fellows that I could choose from. He, he pointed out to me who this guy was, and I was mm. like, oh, that's right. I remember that. So mm. I only know this guy from one big internet sensation. What was one of the biggest uh, memes you can remember from the past year and a half? From the past year and a half? You could give me like a top uh, ten. Top ten. Jackie's top ten memes of the past year and a half. Okay. Big Chungus. That's <laughs> from like ten years ago. That's fine. Um... <laughs> Mm. Do you remember mm-hmm. anyone finding any sort of unpalatable food items in a also unpalatable? Oh, the ship guy. F- yes, Topanga's husband. yes, yes, yes. Nice. So, what's his name? It's like uh, Terry. Sh- um, Not Terry Shivo. 
No. Though those trip tails could have put him in a coma. Uh, um, his last name is a little fishy. I'll give you that. His last name's a little fishy. Is it Crab? Pretty much. Sh- can we give it to her? <laughs> yeah, that's, give it- that's close yeah. enough. Uh, happy birthday, Jensen Carp. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and shout out <laughs> Phil Crab as well. Yes. You picked <laughs> that guy? <laughs> Oh, That's who you went with, hey? Don't say that. We'll see whatever ones I, I neglected. <laughs> and you'll see why I chose that. No, I don't want to see the two of you laughing week. in my face like that. The Jackie just gave me the most disrespectful look I've ever seen her give me. And that is saying a lot. It's not a stinker week. You each had 13 to pick from. That's quite oh, a few. Now. And they yeah. <laughs> were not that great. <laughs> well, there's some good ones on there. I will I'll, admit, I'll read hey, the list right hey, now. Hey, I had some better okay. ones. I had some better ones. All right. I'm not going to deny that, but let's just celebrate Jensen Carp. Let's put this fucking bickering behind us. Grow up, put our big boy pants on, and do a new segment that we've done in every episode. Wait, Birth- didn't they find out it was a scam and he had like done something <coughs> like that before? I feel like he's going to get into this. <coughs> we should maybe just let him Excuse do me. segment. Excuse me. Thing we do every episode called uh, The Life of Jensen Carp, the birthday bio of Jensen Carp. Okay. Now, Jack. Take it away, Dan. Now, Jackie, before you even think about interjecting during my segment, I know what's on your mind, okay? Mm-hmm. Jetson Carp? Who in the hell is Jetson Carp? Isn't this podcast about CBD? You know, celebrity, celebrity birthdays. birthdays. Yeah. Well, first of all, it's not Jetson Carp, it's Jensen Carp, which I already, yeah, already that's said that. What you so, said. Okay, well, you just said it okay. wrong in what I thought you said. Okay. Uh, secondly, while Jensen Carp may not exactly be a household name, this Jolly Good Fellow's fame comes second to his part in the creation of a household meme. Jacqueline, mm-hmm. you're on Twitter, aren't you? Yes. You got. I think your account is private, though. You, Definitely. Why is that? Why don't you? Uh, I didn't feel like going. I didn't feel like going back far enough to see how problematic it was in the beginning. Well, can I? And I didn't want to delete tweets, so I just went private. Speaking of which, how do you feel about this whole Elon Musk thing? Let's talk about that. What's that? Well, we don't we don't have time to get into all this Elon Musk stuff. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, maybe if you have like your own solo podcast sometime, you could explore that further. But. Okay. Now, we're here to talk about Jensen Karp. Now, sure, 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 sure. Maybe you don't know Jensen Karp from his work as a writer for WWE Raw for seven months in 2006. <laughs> Maybe you've never listened to his podcast, Talk Ain't Cheap, where he and his wife, actress Danielle Fischel from uh, Boy Meets World, Shout out to Pango. discuss the cameo accounts Fischl? of... Yeah, Fischel and Karp. I don't like that. Can't make this stuff up. Can't make this stuff up. So her it's name fucked. is Topanga Fischl Carp. It'd be like a man named Cohen having a wife named Ice Cream. Yeah. Uh, now, maybe you don't even know about his Y2K era rap career under the name Hot Carl. Oh, you don't no. know about that. But I'll tell you what. In Do you March, know what that is? Uh, tell me later. I don't want to get all freaked out on camera. It's when it, okay. In March 2021... If you had your finger anywhere near the pulse of social media, you no doubt are aware of a tweet from today's JGF Jensen, which contained a photograph of apparent discarded shrimp tails he claimed to have found in a box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. The caption that our birthday boy gave to this image read, Um, at CTC Squares, why are there shrimp tails in my cereal? This is not a bit. Now... There are varying opinions on what really went on inside that box of children's cereal that that grown man bought. It's not up to me to decide one way or the other. But one thing I can say for sure, that shit went viral. And I'm not talking like Phil Braun viral. I mean the real deal. All around the information superhighway viral. 141,000 likes. 15,000 retweets. This post did numbers, bitch. And you know, it got me thinking. It'd be pretty nice if we went viral like that. Don't you mm-hmm. think? Don't you think? Mm-hmm. And sure, we've been doing fine, I guess. And I, I appreciate the smallish, loyal fan base that I think we have. But if we want to kick this thing up to the next fucking level, we got to go viral carp style. Okay? And okay. what better time to do that than today on the man's birthday himself? Now, 
The viral moment that I've prepared will require a little help from my co-host and my producer to just describe exactly what's happening. Um, There are some props involved, and since this is an audio medium, if I could just have the two of you kind of help paint an oral picture in our listeners' heads of what's going on, and then we can uh, we can post the video later, and that's what's going to go viral. Okay. Okay. All right. So, gosh, we've been at this for a while. I'm just going to take off my uh, take off my overcoat and have a little snack. Got my bib right here. I'm going to tuck my bib in. Dan's wearing a bib. First of all, I got some some fried shrimps here. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I like what I'm seeing. As you can see, that's from an unopened box of, what is that? Budweiser beer battered shrimp by CPAC. I got it from CPAC. Well, it's not unopened, but it, you can tell it was unopened when I got it, right? Mm-hmm. So, ooh, these look good. All oh, those look good. All right, but I can't just eat these boys dry, right? Or I don't know if they're boys or girls. I can't just eat these shrimps dry. <laughs> I got a bottle of... Ooh. ooh, we're looking at medium Buffalo Comfortable Heat by Buffalo Wild Wings Sauce Company. That's right. And this is unopened. I'm turning it upside down right now. If it was opened, it would be spilling all over my blue jean pants, but it's unopened. Yeah. Got my uh, little sauce dish here, right? Okay. I'm looking at an empty sauce dish. It's transparent. I got nothing to hide here. You can Plastic see right through bowl, this Plastic yeah. bowl, yeah. Reused container from somewhere. Yeah. Well, It's like a yeah. takeout. Potato salad container. Here we go. I gotta pour some of the sauce in here, right? Okay. Ooh, that's the sauce. Is oh, that's the a bottle. lot. Sauce is going in the cup. I'm gonna dip one of these in there. Okay. Here we go. He's dipping the shrimp. He just took a bite. He's chewing. Oh. Oh, oh no. What the hell? What is that? There's something in my <laughs> sauce. Tide oh, pods. There's a, a Tide pod in a sauce. <laughs> there's Tide it's pods like in my buffalo sauce. There's four or five Tide pods in there. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> oh, this no. is insane. This is like this is like two memes don't in eat one. That. This is like so many. I don't want to. It's I learned very my, meta. Don't oh don't eat don't, it. Okay. okay. No. All right. That's no. crazy. Did you put that know. in your? Because those could have dissolved in the yeah, sauce. It's probably very acidic. <laughs> Well, they dissolve in bitch. water. I went back for just more dry shrimp. Look at that. <laughs> What's in there? There's shrimps. Dan, that's like $13 worth of laundry soap. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I guess like, cool, I'm getting it for free. But oh my God, there's Tide Pods in my shrimp. There's Tide Pods in my sauce. I got to wipe my mouth. Money I got to wipe people. my mouth. Hold on a second. Okay. Oh. Oh no, what's happening? Oh no. <laughs> there's a Tide Pod in my bib. Listeners, Tide Pods are coming out of every whole orifice of clothing that Dan has on his body right now. He's just he's just excreting Tide Pods. This is terrible. This was supposed to be like my lunch for the day. I can't eat this. No. I can't eat this now. <laughs> this is a, this is insane. I don't know if, if people saw this online. People would this would be insane. Yeah. On TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, <laughs> HBDPOD. Yeah. Oh my god. That's terrible. That's Are you terrible. Okay? You see what happens. You look at what's happening. Do you want us to call the which company? Call do you the call? cops. Yes, I don't <laughs> call the cops on CPAC. Call somebody. Call Animal Control. I don't give a shit. I gotta go. I gotta go for a minute here. All that right. was insane. That's the craziest thing I've seen since March 2021. Uh, listeners, we're gonna take a short break so Dan can recover from his mild poisoning. We'll be right back. Guys, do you and your lady need to start spicing things up in the bedroom? Be honest, you know the answer is yes. That's why you need to try the new Buffalo Wild Wings line of lotions and lubes. These high-octane personal lubricants bring the heat where you need it the most. Your lady's lips will be as dripping wet as yours get when you're chowing down boneless wings on game day. But there won't be nothing boneless about your rod when you rub it down with our Nashville Hot Lube and get down to some blazing hot banging. And best of all, your girl won't be able to keep her mouth off your member when it's covered in one of our signature sauce lotions and when Parmesan garlic is on the menu, she won't be able to tell where the sauce ends and your load begins. So what are you waiting for? Head down to your local B-dubs, stock up on our spicy buffalo lotions and lubes, and you'll never have another dry rub in your bedroom. Jacqueline, yeah. you were just talking about educating me. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> I'm a very Are learned you in man. For a treat. Am I? Well, why don't you start out by guessing whose birthday is today? Okay. 
I think I can't quite pinpoint it, but I think that I've done the same people for raw guesses multiple times. She's yeah. definitely done Mar- Marissa Hargis say or whatever. <laughs> no, you guess her every before. week. It's either, either <laughs> yeah. guess her or you guess like um, who's the other one that's just like Marissa Hargrave. <laughs> yeah, you did Shut do up, that. Paul. You did. It was some one of those actresses. So Eliza Dushku. You guess her all the time too. <laughs> She's on Buffy. She's a good actor. I guess her once. I'm going to guess that today we are celebrating the birthday. Let's see. It's November 8th. It's midterms. It's autumnal. Mm, yeah. It's two days until my birthday. <laughs> Imagine that. Yes. Get nice. out there and vote for Alex Hakala. Vote for, for Dan's birthday. representative. Yeah. I'm going to say it's the birthday of uh, Harry South, who's not a celebrity, but a guy that we know. You have to guess a celebrity. That's the point I think he's kind of the he's, Is he kind of locally famous now or not so much? He's just out there doing mm-hmm. stuff a lot, but he's still a no-name. No, I see him playing bass at like restaurants when people are trying to eat. Yeah. We have a global reach. You have to guess a celebrity. Okay, 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 okay. So global reach, I'm going to say <laughs> uh, Shigeru Miyamoto, who invented Super Mario Brothers. That I'll is incorrect. I'll take my prize. Oh, God damn it. Sorry. Then you can put the... The death music from Mario. This jolly good fellow has a very familiar name. You've definitely heard this man's name before. You may have heard his name in reference to him. You may know who this man is. Okay? I may have heard this man's name in reference to him, the man himself. You've definitely heard his name in reference to another man with the same name. Oh, I see. It's one of those. It's one of those. Yeah. This jolly good fellow yep. is an actor. From Canada. From Canada or TV and movies? Television. Okay. Uh, The show that he was on actually did have a movie later on, and it also had a Netflix reboot. It's a Canadian television show. Very popular. What doesn't these days? What doesn't these days? Degrassi. Um, No, this is more recent, and his character's name was Trevor. Uh, Park Boys. Yes. Name that actor. I don't know those names of those guys. Most famous name, like... Bubbles. I don't know no, the name uh, of the guy. I don't know the name of the guy who plays Trevor from Trailer Park Boys. Okay. I don't. So I don't. Listen listen to the clues I'm giving you. His you just, name is the same as a really famous guy. Super famous. Like most famous guy in the wait, world probably. Okay. Can, can I back up a little bit? Because I think that I'm failing to comprehend some of the stuff that you're screaming at me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I'd like to reduce to the volume voices. on women's voices right now. <laughs> Take it down to 12 decibels. <laughs> um, yeah. I think you have the ability to do that. So you're saying yeah. that the actor shares a name with someone more famous than he? Correct. Okay. So the person you're talking about is not the guy that plays Trailer Park, Trevor. The jolly good fellow that I have chosen is the actor who plays Trevor on Trailer Park. Ah, His okay. name is the same name uh, as a br- super famous guy. Whose birthday is not today? Brian Wilson. It's not that famous. He's famous. Do you think he's Brian famous. Wilson is globally the most famous guy? He's very famous. I didn't say he's globally actually... the most famous guy. Is it's the fam- most famous guy of the globe? Mm-hmm. Can't you see the, the Beach Boys being like really big in just like some Japan random country? Yeah, yeah. J- Japan's random. Japan's this so non jolly good fellow who shares a name with today's jolly good fellow comes from a very famous American family. Known for their singing and dancing. Donny Osmond? Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson! What? Happy birthday, Canadian actor oh Michael my Jackson. my God. I'm glad you're yeah. saying it's Canadian actor Michael Jackson, because if you were talking about the singer Michael Jackson, I was going to say, Jackie, we all love black and mm-hmm. white. We all love Remember the Time. We all remember whatever other songs he did. But you want to watch a little documentary called Finding Neverland? I think you'll see that he was up to some mm, unsavory business. <clears throat> Well, let's get right into it and talk about Michael Jackson, the Canadian actor, born on this day, November 8th, in 1970. So that fucking guy's Not name only is Michael is... Jackson, really? Yeah, spelled the same, okay. too. all right. Uh, not only is he an actor, he was also a grip and a gaffer. All right. As I said, most famously known for his acting role as Trevor in the comedy TV series Trailer Park Boys. Now, this guy, his Wikipedia page was the only source of information about him. And I got to tell you, not a lot of information on there. So what I did was I just looked up some quotes um, from Michael Jackson that maybe, like, I was thinking, like, maybe, you know, there would be some clues about his personality, what kind of person he is through, you know, 
like yeah. quotes.com or whatever. Sure. So I, I typed yeah. in Michael Jackson quotes, and then I was like, okay, obviously I'm going to have to do something else here. So I typed in um, Michael Jackson Canadian actor quotes. Not Nothing really came up. You just, Michael then Jackson, I, the singer, talking about Canadian actors. Right, yeah. I was yeah. like, uh, okay. And then... Rick um, Moranis is awesome. Yeah. So I did. I did a little more diving. A little dump. Uh, <laughs> a, little a little more dive. dumping. Yeah. <laughs> I'm and sure I you did. did. I came across a few quotes from Canadian actor Michael Jackson. But as I alluded, I also came across many quotes from famous pop star Michael Jackson. So what I figured we'd do is have a little game for you, oh Dan. Oh my where god! It's a little game we call every week called Guess. It's a little game we like to do every week called Michael or Michael. This is kind of like the thing we did the one time, or the, we've done a uh, few times. So what happens, Dan, you, November 10th, guess which yep. Michael Jackson is the source of the quote I read. Are you ready? Yes, I am okay, ready Just tell for me, you Michael Jackson do. or Michael Jackson? Okay. Number one, if you can't afford to travel, you travel mentally through reading. You can see anything and go any place you want to in reading. Michael Jackson or Michael Jackson? I don't personally believe that, but I think that that was... I think that was Michael Jackson. Okay. Number two. Children show me in their playful smiles the divine every day. Say a little context on that one. Watch that documentary I was talking about. That's Michael Jackson. Okay. It's ten quotes. Number three. Yeah. I, I'm a black American. I am proud of my race. I am proud of who I am. I have a lot of pride and dignity. I was going to say that's a Jackie Lambert quote. <laughs> it's actually direct Michael Jackson You just Jackson said quote. it. Okay, Michael Jackson. It's a Michael Jackson quote. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Jackson. Um, okay, number four. All of us are Michael products Jackson. of our childhood. Is that what you said? Yes. Don't go there. <laughs> I'll say that again. Jack All of us around. are products of our childhood. Who said that quote? Michael Jackson, no doubt. And I think we know what he meant. <laughs> This one's a little bit longer. Quote number five. Everything that I love is behind those gates. We have elephants and giraffes and crocodiles and every kind of tiger and lions. And and we have busloads of kids who don't get to see those things. They come up, sick children, and enjoy it. I don't mean to spoil the game. He was doing it to sick kids, I think I think I know the answer, but... Um, as you were reading that, I started hearing it in Donald Trump's voice. <laughs> it sounded like everything, everything I, love, I love, every kind of tiger. By those when, gates. I think when you said every kind of tiger, I right? <laughs> Many, many French fries. <laughs> I'm going right. to say it was Michael Jackson. I'm going to say it was Michael Jackson. It was Michael Jackson. Okay. All right. Quote six. Before I would hurt a child, I would slit my wrists. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> These are all, it was like a, it's all on the website. I don't know what to tell you. It's hard to find reliable quote sources. I believe that though. And I'm going to say, recited. I'm going to say it for everyone's sake. I hope that was Michael Jackson. Okay. Quote seven. When I see children, I see the face of God. That's why I love them so much. That's what I see. Imagine dying, going to heaven. <laughs> you get up there and meet our creator. He looks like Macaulay Culkin. It's a little kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like Teletubbies, yeah. little baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, was the baby God or was the baby the sun? The baby was yeah. the sun, but son I think it was God. their God, yeah. yeah. Uh, I got to say, go with my gut on that one. Mikey J, Michael Jackson. Good old MJ, that is correct. Yeah. Okay. All Ten right, more. we've got three more. Mm. Number eight, and I remember going to the recording studio and there was a park across the street and I'd see all the children playing and I would cry <sighs> because it would make me sad that I would have to work instead. What do you think? Michael Jackson or Michael Jackson? You know, I can relate to that. I can relate yeah, it's to a that. Tough, it's... And I'm going to say Michael Jackson. Yeah. I'm going to say Michael Jackson. All right. We've got two more. Let's get through this. Let's just get to the end of this. Well, don't say it like that. Number that nine. Like... <clears throat> Why can't you share your bed? The most loving <laughs> thing to do is share your bed with someone. It's very charming. It's very sweet. It's what the whole world should do. Have you and I ever shared a bed, Paul? Has that ever happened? I don't think so. Yeah, actually, really? that was the. It, I was thinking about that as she was saying that. That about the time you and I slept uh, head to oh, toe. Oh, in the tent, or no, <laughs> no, in your in your twin size bed. Mm-hmm. Why do we Why do we do that? Uh, I was drunk at your house. Okay, Michael Jackson. <laughs> Cletus was on the couch. 
All right, last quote here. <laughs> that could have been. Yeah, I had a room upstairs, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but chose to share your twin size bed with mm. you. Number ten. Uh, Please keep an open mind and let me have my day in court. <laughs> I'll do my best. I'll do what I can. <laughs> say, from everything that I know, it's not a ton. Right. I'm going to have to say that that was the one and only Michael Jackson. Or not that the one correct. and only, but yeah. One of the two, and yeah. you got them all right. Wow, so happy birthday. Yeah. Jackie, that was, that was a special segment. <laughs> We've got a lot of special stuff happening in this edition yeah. of this internet radio show. A lot of very special stuff. I was mm-hmm. worried because mm-hmm. I was very confident in all my answers. I will say that. I'm, sometimes yeah. when I answer a question that you ask me, I'm, I'm thinking like, oh, I don't really know, but I don't want to look ignorant. No, you killed it. Yeah. And I thought that what you might have done just because of some of the parameters of that quiz, I don't know if you noticed that the answers could have been kind of misconstrued i thought that you were going to do the old switcheroo on me at the end but i'm glad that you actually followed through with integrity love and respect yeah. for me dan november 10th don't forget to dm michael me jackson from on my jackson birthday Five. or call me and michael jackson and all the rest tito john keep going um lil jesse lil jesse jackson and <laughs> <laughs> And another one whose name escapes me, but I think he goes by the name of Commercial Break Jackson. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back. (laughs) My dad said we'll be right back. New from Ubisoft and PlayStation Network, JGF Crime Scene Investigator, based on the podcast. Join the HBD team as you investigate murder, espionage, and terrorism. Lead the team as you utilize each member's three strengths and weaknesses to solve complex crimes. Play a variety of mini-games that combine your strip search, juicescape, and least favorite birthday memories for an exciting adventure throughout the calendar. Can you guess which celebrity was killed today? Join the team and play as Josh, Dan, Jack, or a wildcard guest. Rated T for Teen for blood, suggestive themes, and violence. Download your copy on the PlayStation Network website or visit patreon.com slash hbdpod. I have a spooky story about one of the bathrooms. <gasps> Ooh, let's, okay. let's save that. Let's, let's get into it. We got to do our little intros. Thank you for joining us. Our, our producer, <laughs> yeah. Paul, is kind of, he's, I don't know what he's doing. He's on he's social distracted. media. Yeah. No, I'm just getting, so we're going to do a little uh, guessing game here. And if you win, you're going to win a whole mess of prizes, a big old goodie bag. Do like oh, the, uh, welcome back, everybody. I guess yeah, don't I know. we don't need I'm to just do that. Ex- <laughs> okay. I'm just explaining what I'm doing. <laughs> and Paul, that's you. Getting my resources together, and now I'm ready. Right. Welcome back, everyone. This is the Afterbirth. My name is Josh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're joined by a very special guest from Peter White Public Library today, that's Andrea. Right. Andrea, how are Shout you doing out. today? Oh, fabtabulous. How's everybody out there? Really we're good, we're good, we're good. I do want to say I'm thrilled. We've been trying to get this since before we even thought about starting this podcast, is we have the official endorsement of Peter White Public Library. Mm-hmm. It's good to see. Mm-hmm. You'll love to see it. I'll, I'll scan that barcode when it comes. Ooh. Andrea, I've got, oh. a, I got a little piece of trivia for you here. Uh, one of the people on this podcast's grandfather was actually named Peter White. That's like true. the real Peter White? He shared a he name was with was really Peter White. Yeah, yeah. Dan? Yes. Correct. No way. What? Although, the first prize is one. Gotta say, I wish I wish yeah. that I could tell you stories about the uh, the Peter White that was my grandfather. He passed a couple years before I was born, and I don't think he ever set foot in the library nor knew what one was. <laughs> <laughs> he was a Nagani guy. He didn't get into the big city too much. That's insane. Yeah. He sounded insane from stories that I've heard about him, but I, I yeah. I <laughs> so you won, you won the first prize there. It's a twenty-five dollar Bed Bath and Beyond gift card. <laughs> I don't think they have one up in Marquette, so I'll have to search uh, the interwebs. Yeah, well, it's only online. it's only valid in person. Yeah, it's a coupon. <laughs> You, well, you have to spend five hundred dollars to get the twenty five dollars. Oh, it's one of those things. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, what? you can never have too many thrill pillows. I hear mm-hmm. it's a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And plus, you never know what's going to happen in there. Uh, Adam Sandler went in there to get a Universal remote one time and ended up uh, messing his whole life up. You know what? We have that movie on DVD. I'll have to check it out and give you a follow up on that one. I would. I would love that. 
I haven't seen it since I was a boy, and the last time I watched it, me and uh, the fellas had a little shared cry. Oh, that's deep. I wasn't there. Yeah, he wasn't one of the fellas, but it no. was me and some other fellas, and we. Uh, what are you say like, man, life does just pass you by so fast, doesn't it, man? It did. It's really sad. <laughs> the end of Click is very sad. I actually, yeah. I will say, just to weigh in, we're all talking Click. We're doing some Click discourse. Very recently, I was talking with some coworkers about it. it just came up out of nowhere, and. Uh, mm-hmm. I, one of them was saying that I misunderstood the premise of it, and I read the whole wi- the plot on Wikipedia, and I was like, "Oh yeah, that sounds very sad." <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think what I said was, "Hey, Christopher Walken's in this movie." And they're like, "What?" It's like, "Oh, click." We were talking about that an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of Wikipedia, I was on the Wikipedia for Great Expectations uh, by Charles Dickens last night. You guys know that Miss Havisham is supposed to be in her mid thirties. Dang! Oh, isn't that messed up? Miss Havisham, is she like the elderly one in the mansion? Yeah, like I'm. <laughs> we're all in our mid thirties. I, I mean, that was pretty geriatric back then. So you know what? I don't think they had retinol back there. Back yeah. then, mm, that's true. That makes sense. Like, their skincare routine is not where it is now. Mm-hmm. And she I mean, also like, didn't go outside for a decade, so that could have played well, into it too. Her skin well, would be flawless. Like yeah, that's if she true. Just go no outside. Yeah, maybe it was just the keeping the rotten food in the house that could have been part of it. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> well, we'll go on. Go we'll go on with the guessing game. You won the twenty-five dollar coupon, and let's get the next prize in your hands here. So this one, uh, we're gonna go. What is the next prize, ha- Paul? Are you keeping that a surprise? No, nope, I'm the next? keeping that a surprise okay, okay, till the okay. end. Okay. I'll so stop the, with the next one here unless I think happened I on this day, which on this day that it comes out uh, is going to be November eighth. So on this day in 1965, this U.S. soap opera premiered for the first time. Very famous. Oh, my gosh. I I really want it to be Dallas, but I know it's not. It's not Dallas. Can I guess? Hold on. Hold on. Family Guy? Family Guy. Oh, right. No, you cannot guess. (laughs) I mean, The Simpsons have been around for a while. Oh, Mm -hmm. nuts. These are tough ones. Okay, can I have it like, can I phone a friend? Do I have a hint? Um, it is four words. My father used to watch this in the eighties when he was, uh, <laughs> lived with my aunt Linda. Think about aunt Linda's house. Yep. Uh, Flint, Flint, what does Michigan. aunt Linda look like? That might help me. My dad's on the like couch. She's probably got little shorts on. Oh my gosh. I have no idea. I'm a child There's of rotten the nineties. cake all over the house. <laughs> Um, it's not Give leaving a real clue. Yeah, I don't know that a one. Soap opera it's, though, like a like a daytime, right? It's blank of our blank. Days of our lives. Yes, that Are is you it. Serious? Yeah, it's Days of Our Lives, 1965. Nice. So I'm, that? because I had to give you half the name, I'm gonna have to cut the prize in half, which was a new kitten from you paws oh, <laughs> and we're gonna be towels. we're gonna be dismembering that kitten live on air oh no um okay so uh we dealt with that now we have one <laughs> final one here one uh this is this is kind of a fun one uh on this day in 1889 this state this state was admitted as the 41st state of the union. All right. Well, 41st. Um, so it's got to be one out west. Mm-hmm. 41st state of the union. Um, you know, my geography teacher, Mr. Dowling, is going to frown at me right now. But I feel like it's Oregon. It's not. Uh, Sorry, there, I was, not, am, I, I was just, am I going south? I don't know. Uh, no, you are going. You think east. that you think that your geography teacher is listening to this? Um, you know, probably not. <laughs> but next time we should go mid. Him up. Yeah, a lot of a lot of geography Mr. teachers. Mister Dowling. Listen. Okay, yeah. so I'm going east. I'm gonna say, um, like how far east? Um, the far east. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> China. <Ooh>. Um, Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> no, just a little bit. Just a little bit east. A little bit east, Idaho. A uh, little bit east. Uh, uh, Montana. There we go. Montana. Montana. Wow. 
big guy Nicely country, done. hey? Yes. Love that. So you you win the third prize, I think. Can I, I get the other half of the cat? I would like the complete cat. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I think that's too I'm late sorry. for that. You can choose top or bottom, but you can't have the whole thing. Dude, you then, are, they're not going to let you adopt. And the this. third prize is a litter box. So you can still you still win the litter box. <laughs> I'll, I'll use that. Sometimes you just gotta go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. As our friend Jay knows. Uh, yeah. He, oh, yeah. He did do that one time. As a grown man uses a litter box. So. No. Is it next to it his one side? This is very important information. He did it one time. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was blamed That's for That's all it. we need to know. And I don't appreciate that. Let's not that. get into was, all this. This is inside baseball, I was baseball, blamed for folks. it for like five years. Jada Hutt used yeah. the litter box one time. Yep. And who <laughs> and who did everyone think it was? That's your lot in life, Paul. <laughs> Just, I mean, yeah, it's true. You're all the right. kind of guy that people think would do that, which is why Well, they guess what? Did I didn't. I didn't. You, all right. you know what they say, guilt by association, so mm -hmm. slippery That's slope the right one. there. That's true. I did, yeah, I did use the bathroom that day, too. So. <laughs> Andrea, what's going on uh, right now? Uh, at the the Peter White Public Library? Yeah, and if for any of our listeners that don't exactly know what that is, that's a library in Marquette, Michigan. It's and kind it is. of... It is one of the best libraries in Marquette, Michigan. The best library in the nation. It was recognized no. a couple years ago for being no. one of the nation's best library. Wow. Don't ask me what year. We don't want to talk about that, but I mean, you go into, whenever you come into Marquette, they have the little, like, welcome to Marquette, and then underneath it says, like, 1986, Class C, Pee Wee Boys Hockey Champions. So it doesn't mm -hmm. matter how long ago it was, you carry that title forever. Forever. <laughs> but um, I will, but... hold on. I'm oh, sorry, I'm so excited. I'm <laughs> You're in a library. Stop, you don't <laughs> yell at the guest. I yeah. will, because I want, I forgot what I was going to say anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I just want to say thank mm -hmm. you, and I just wanted to have you talk more. Yeah, yeah, there's um, um I bet you probably see some guys we know using the computer in there sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the computer lab crowd like? This is confidential. We won't we'll bleep it. Yeah, we we got some computer users, that's for sure. <laughs> sometimes I gotta go up there and use my shushing powers. Oh Andrea, what's the craziest thing you've ever seen pulled up on the library computer? That's um, you know what? I don't have too much access to the computers because I'm down in circulation, directing everywhere where to go. But on my first day of work, I had a wild experience with one of our patrons. Um, so Marquette gets cold during the winter, yeah, as, sure. we, as we know. And so the homeless community likes to come into the free public library space. Um, they don't really utilize our services with uh, materials. They just like to hang out. Yeah. And so one... One man, <laughs> remind you, this is my first day of work. He is just agitated. It's getting cold. He's wet. He doesn't want to leave. And the zipper on his jacket breaks. And he's like, oh I can't God. fix this. It's broke. Remind you, I'm also a mother, so I can fix any zipper. So I was like, yeah, I'll fix it. He's like, yeah, baby, you can't fix it for me. Oh, baby, 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 baby. Lo and behold, I fix this man's zipper. I zip up his jacket. And I'm like, there you go. And he proceeds to just kind of like lose the rocker. We had to call the police on my first day at work. Oh, wow. no. So you it's did okay. a kind thing for huh? him. You did a kind thing for him. And you solved his problem. And, and he still freaked out. Yeah, he was still cold and homeless. He was out so for blood. Wow. Maybe you know what? Librarians can't do it all. We just no. we can't do it all. We need. Well, I we commend you for pain. trying. That's that's big. That's very kind of you. Tell me about the haunted bathroom. All right. So next time you guys are in Marquette, or any of you listeners out there who are planning a trip to the great city of Marquette, um, this second floor bathroom, women's bathroom, is haunted by a spirit. What? So if you go in there, Jackie, like, you went in there the one time. Hours, wait, who's going in there? I, I've been in there many times. Have you ever felt like there was somebody watching you? No. The spookiest thing that happened was I, I wasn't. found. Um, you know how Plan B comes with? It used to come with two pills. I found yeah. the second pill on the floor in in that bathroom, and I was like, "Uh oh, she's not oh, having a good day." <laughs> they took an eight point five plan. Uh oh, not as effective. <laughs> 
<laughs> so Jackie, you've never been you've never been visited by the ghost in the in the in the in the, in the toilet. No, but it sounds like I there do is, remember though. there was a period of time where whoever was in charge of buying hand soap was not willing <laughs> to buy more hand oh, soap. Yeah, yeah. That was kind of a big deal. But other than that, those are the spookiest things that have happened to me in that bathroom. Oh, well, just to remind you, we are a nonprofit, so sometimes we don't have enough funding for hand soap. BYOS, you know, bring your own yeah. soap. Um, hand washing is important. And yeah. it's another thing that we should all um, take a moment to recognize how dirty books are. And so oh, just like, yeah. just wash your hands a lot after you read yeah. a book because we can't really clean Ew. those pages. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. About that. You're welcome forever. Do you ever find books in the bathrooms there? <laughs> no, only the dirty ones. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Oh, no. So I'm sorry, I want to hear about this ghost, though. I want to hear. I mean, I like talking about feces, stains, oh. and birth control, but I want to hear about this actual <laughs> ghost because Halloween is not coming up, but it did just happen. So people are probably it still in the mood. Just happened. Yeah. That's all I know about the ghost. I read it in a book oh. um, well, from the Peter White Public Library. I have an experience. There's a book about the bathroom. Um, yeah, they talked about the ghosts in the bathroom. And then apparently, if you speak to one of the, the custodians around here, spooky things happen at night where mm. books drop and knock. Yeah, because he's the drunk. He's stumbling around knocking the books off the shelf. Yeah. I've seen I, that. Well, guy. apparently, to your story, Peter White never came in this library. Well, <laughs> well he came in your grandma, that's for sure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie. Sorry. <laughs> Can I tell you something I did there one time? I'm ready. Gu guess what I did. It was a bad thing. I'll give you three guesses. Oh my gosh, you stole a DVD. Uh if I did that, it was never on purpose. I've probably done that by mistake. I think you yelled penis really loud and it echoed throughout <laughs> the corridors. I think I have done that, but that's not okay. what I'm talking about. I think I've done that. Are people doing that right now? Um, no, but I would laugh if somebody okay. did. Yeah. I'd be like, that's bravery in its finest. It's no, you finest gave me a form. moment there to, to think like that. When I was like 14, 15, I definitely would have done something like that and been exhilarated yeah. for the rest of the day, you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, no, thir I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm just so excited. You didn't. You didn't. Okay, You're good. Okay. Can I just tell you? I'll just tell you what I did. You're not going to get yeah, tell me. I broke a couch chair one time. <laughs> oh, come on. Wow. I didn't mean to. This was maybe, oh, God, I don't know, like 2007, 2008, 2006. I don't know. But I, I went in there. I think one of my sisters was there, and uh, she was already in. It was one of the upstairs rooms, and there was a bunch of, like, kind of antique furniture in there. And there was this. It looked like a like an old Victorian, like, fainting couch or something, you know, for one of those. Mm -hmm. But I just, she was she was in there. I was like, hey, what's up? And I jumped onto this couch, and it, the legs just snapped. <laughs> If we had to catalog this, I would say you broke an antique. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did. I did. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was a joke couch. Do you think I went and told someone what I did? No. Absolutely not. You know what? I think they fixed it. It's back upstairs. You want to come sit on it again? No, because I remember. No. I think they might have maybe got a different one or something because I remember it not being there for a while. And then maybe that room was kind of shut to the public for a little while as well. So. One time I was there, there was a bat inside the library. <laughs> and all the librarians were trying to take trash cans and... Like, get it in the trash can with a broom. It was great. Yeah. Oh, I love librarians. We are, we're pretty resourceful. Um, you know, I would have to say, shout out, go to your lo local public library, yeah. slip yeah. them a donation, check out a book, read a book. We forgot how Find to read. Find some ham so. soap. Wait, so you yeah, you, bring your own hand soap. You slip the librarians sit down. a donation? Like, if I'm checking out my DVDs there and I, I slip a 20 on the top of the stack, I'll be like, hey, the, no late fees on these ones, okay? <laughs> Which I guess that you would kind of work. defeat the purpose yeah. of a forum, but I dropped a library book in the bathtub one time. And I just brought it back. Oh, to anyone in Marquette, evil. Michigan that ever uh, checks out the John Lee Hooker biography at Peter White Public Library, I'm sorry it's water damaged. It's not <laughs> oh, that yeah, bad. That one. But I was nude. I did drop it. In... <laughs> That's really bold of you to be reading in the bathtub. Yeah. Dan, what's the craziest thing you ever looked up on the library computer? <laughs> I'll only say if, if on the count of three you answer that question with me. Ready? Okay. Okay. Are you ready? One, two, two three. I've three. never used two girls, it. one cup. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> disgusting. 
You got kicked off. No, you're, no, you're not no. the best patron. If you walk by the the computer lab at, at the library, do you look just to see if anyone's like looking from side to side with a shifty look on their face? <laughs> no, but I do look on the security cameras all oh, the time. No, yeah. So we have kids throughout nice. the building. So we can just keep tabs on people. Um, so that's the thing. So just remember, even though there's not a librarian around, we're always watching you. Being watched. Wow. We wow. really are in a surveillance. That's very stuff. scary. Yeah. We're like the ghost of Peter White. Yeah. <laughs> I have so many questions. I, I, I can't even. I have so many questions, but I also don't have any. That's the problem. Because Peter White Public Library is such a, excuse me, institution <laughs> in Marquette, Michigan. And, and we've never really had a direct link to someone on the inside uh, unless mm-hmm. Carrie Yost still works there no she's gone now we miss her um there's a memorial a shrine to her in the back oh, room really? I love I just made that, that up. I made that up but it sounds really good well I'll oh, tell you oh. about some other fun things about the library before yeah. I gotta go we have a bell collection yes you're right we have she like knows. Five cases full of like intricate little bells for ringing mm-hmm. Christmas morning in, and then Aww. we have large bells for like calling hungry children in for dinner. Yeah. Um, sadly, we don't serve food here, so um, the joke's on that. Your church. No. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, people practice that too. I forget. That's good for um, you to, uh, to say what the bells are for because I thought that that was on your way out. You would ring those if you had excellent service. <laughs> That's at the <laughs> children's museum. Oh okay, sorry. Right, what is Sadly, Andrea... I have to wrap this up. I got to go back on the clock and catalog some books. No. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you <laughs> thank very you much so for much. joining us. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I love we'll you have you back for more library time. gossip. Thanks. Well. Yeah. Anytime. Kisses. Be well. Read your books. Do don't search dirty things on the library computers. No, it's okay. It's okay, <laughs> okay. to do that. We say it's okay to do that, and that we are officially endorsed <laughs> by Peter White. Bye, Andrea. Bye for <laughs> now. Namaste. Bye. <laughs> Namaste. Yeah, namaste. Namaste in this namaste in this keyboard, <laughs> the computer lab. What does it mean? Tell what? me. Have a good day. Tell me. In no. Cantonese. <laughs> no. I was. I feel bad. She cut me off. I was going to ask what the most dangerous book in the library was. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I, Paula that? Dean's Segregate the Whites Cookbook. <laughs> yes, it could be that one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Uh, that John Lee Hooker book is pretty slippery, I'll tell you that. But <laughs> I think I, I almost got in trouble for that. Did you see the look on her face when I said I dropped that in the tub? She didn't like it. She was sad. No. She was heartbroken. But I got news for you. I'm the only one in town that ever checked that book out. So, Killing Lincoln, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> right. Blows the lid off a lot of... Let's do, the, let's, do the, let's do the outro. Let's do the outro here. Okay. Goodbye. Wow. Well, I... Thank you. And that's, that's so... fine. <laughs> All right. And then we'll be on Patreon, Instagram, Twitter. No, doesn't matter. They know. Spotify.